welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today it is Scent Sunday, Amateur Scent Hour here on my channel. And today I'm finally doing my Ellis Brooklyn video. I've been teasing and talking about this video for a long time, but I'm really excited to finally be doing it. Ellis Brooklyn is a house that I have either a sample or a bottle or something of every perfume that they have. I believe they have 15 fragrances. I don't think any of them are like discontinued, so I think you could get all of them still. And this is a house that started in 2015, I believe. It's an all natural perfume brand. And yeah, we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna actually just go alphabetically as we go along. I have to say, Ellis Brooklyn is definitely a brand that I keep my eye out for because I, I just like the aesthetic. I like the idea, like I really do like it. But I will say when it comes to how much I enjoy the scents or which ones I have, I do have four bottles, but I don't know, it's it's a complicated relationship. My favorites definitely I don't think are the favorites that most people have from the house. So um, yeah, we'll just get into it. I will tell you my thoughts as I go along and I hope you enjoy and this can help you out if you were looking at this house and wanting some ideas on the scents and what I think they smell like and kind of some reviews and whatnot. I will say overall when it comes to longevity, I feel like all of these last about four or five hours on me. I don't get tons and tons of wear time. None of these are like beast fragrances, but they are natural which tends to to be a thing. So anyway, let's get into it. We're going to start with a prey. This one came out in late 2021. Oh, and you guys, we're starting with my favorite one. I love this scent. this is my absolute favorite one. This is definitely a unisex scent. And this smells like a cold winter morning. You're in a cabin and you woke up, like you can see the snow on the trees. It smells green. You can even smell the cold. Like when I smell this, I smell the cold air when I smell it. It's beautiful, it's woody. It's very slightly sweet, but it's just kind of aromatic even. It's like comforting uh, while, while it's not warm though. Again, it's more on the cold side. It's absolutely beautiful. The notes in here are juniper berries, cardamom, saffron. The middle notes, bourbon whiskey, guyac wood, suede, violet, labdanum, and praline. And then the base notes, cedar, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and musk. That patchouli does not stick out to me as patchouli in any way. You know, reading the notes and hearing of the spices, even the bourbon whiskey, I get that bourbon whiskey, but it is all nice, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm, it's just a beautiful scent. I highly suggest it. If you like woody scents, if you like something aromatic, if you like something that kind of smells like pine needle, even you like those balsam candles like that type of stuff I think you should try this one out it is so good and again my favorite scent from <laughs> Ellis Brooklyn I absolutely love it and this is the one that has me excited for what's to come because it's a more recent launch Sam really likes that one too okay next we're gonna go to B and I have a sample of B here this is one that I feel like a lot of people really enjoy because it is a honey scent honey scents I feel like are kind of hard to come by and I feel like this is a real honey so it's it smells like real honey it's not like the honey is just being used as a sweetener but you can't really tell no this smells quite like honey it's interesting the first time I ever smelled this like when I'm thinking about when I first got into perfume because this is one of the first houses I ever really explored one of the first discovery sets I bought they have some at Sephora they have some at Ulta I think they have some on their website now I don't think any of their discovery sets are completely full as in you can't buy all of them unfortunately like I want to explore a house I'm like I'm doing the damn thing. I want all of them. I want to smell all of them. I want to know which one's my favorite. I don't think they have that, but anyway, this one's definitely in there, but I hated this. I really hated this because I don't enjoy the smell of honey, especially real life honey. I almost find it kind of stinky, but smelling this, I actually don't hate it. I don't like love it, but I'm the most into liking it than I ever have been, which is so interesting. And just like a point that your nose changes, what you enjoy changes, even like what you like in comparison to what you've previously smelled changes. So this is very honey anyway. It's floral kind of powdery. There's like definitely a vanilla under note I get as well. There's something kind of warm about it, comforting, kind of soft still though. It's it's a nice scent. I actually get why people like it a lot more in this moment than I ever have, but I'm kind of getting it. I've definitely kind of been changing a bit. So anyway, this has notes of rum and davina in the top. The middle notes are honey, bran, and cinnamon, and then the base notes are vanilla, cacao, and sandalwood. Definitely if you like sweet scents, you like gourmands, and you like honey notes, this is a really good honey one to try out. It's definitely in there, but I I think I get that floral, like to me, honey has a floral 
smell just naturally to it. And I do pick that up because it smells very realistic, like very animalic honey. It's not just like sweet. So it's definitely not like overly sweet and like candy. It's not like that. It's it's nice and balanced for being honey. And so um, definitely an interesting one. If that sounds like interesting or good to you, you should definitely try it out. All right, next on the list is Fable. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I just, I think I've just, you know, kind of broadened and I can smell just different things. And when I first started, everything was just like either, oh, I like that or no, ew, you know? <laughs> and this, I still don't love. It's very white floral heavy. This smells kind of clean and fresh, a little bit of sweetness coming through. I'm getting something fruity and almost tangy as well. It's light and feminine. It's definitely like a nice springtime going into summer type of scent. So this has notes of neroli and black currant in the top. It has honeysuckle, pedigree, and violet in the mid and then amber and cedar in the base. This is another one I really didn't like initially, and I'm telling you, smelling it right now, I've been definitely not hating on Neroli as much as I used to. I know, <laughs> I know. I like this, I think it's nice. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd wear it, but I, I can understand it more. So um, that one's good. I think if you like Neroli and specifically that black currant, you really do smell the black currant coming through. It's definitely adding some nice sweetness and a nice balance with the white florals that are in there. So um, yeah, you're gonna wanna like Neroli and you're gonna wanna like black currant, but it's a nice one, light floral springtime. Okay, next fawn. This is your classic sunscreen, beachy, coconut floral scent. If you like those, I think you'll like this. This is, again, I'm having a more of an appreciation for this, but if I'm gonna go where the Neroli's at in here with this, like that kind of citrus, the coconut, I just either want just my coconut or more sweetness. I don't know. I mean, the coconut develops more and more. It's kind of powdery. It's soft and nice. I do think that if you like those kind of sunscreen beachy scents, this is one for you to try. Like that's this house's scent like that, that they have. I do like how that coconut develops in your sniff like toward the end. It almost gets a little creamy too. This has Neroli, Magnolia, and Sicilian Bergamot in the top. Coconut milk, I knew it was kind of milky. Lily of the Valley and Damask Rose in the mid and then Musk, Amber, and Vanilla in the base. This is definitely not overly sweet. I do smell that Neroli quite heavy in this, like that almost kind of bitter scent, um, but it's definitely in that beachy realm. So if you like Beach Walk from Replica, if you like, I don't know, the Tom Ford one, like this is in that realm. So maybe give it a sniff if you like those. Definitely not my favorite, but I, I wonder in a couple of years if like I'll like those, if I'll finally start liking them. I tend to go, more like woody coconut and beachy that way or like coconut vanilla um, as opposed to like the coconut white floral thing. Next on the list is Isogamma Super. This reminds me of Iso E Super. I'm surprised it's like not in the notes, but it has that same kind of scent going on. It's very woody, um, but there's like this cleanness to it. When I smell Iso E Super, there's almost something, it's like woody for sure. It's very addictive I, I, to me. I love that scent, but it's also almost, there's a sharpness, almost a metallicness to it. It's like weird. It's like nature meets me metal, but I guess metal is natural. Anyway, it's more like soft and hard meat together in this scent to me. Um, but this has notes of cedar, ambergris, and vetiver in it. And this is more like an enhancer fragrance. So of course you could wear it on your uh, on its own if you wanna do that. Like if you like Molecule 01, that type of stuff, you could totally do that. Or you can add this to other fragrances to really make them last longer, kind of enhance them. I'm realizing now, I think that they have a patchouli that's similar idea to this. I don't know if you could buy it in like a full size bottle, but they had something like that, like a patchouli thing, uh, but I don't have that, so I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, that one's a nice one if you like those molecular scents. Again, really nice kind of um, unisex. Uh, I particularly still enjoy my Molecule 01, which is just basically ISOE Super. For basically that scent, I mean, to me, it smells very similar to that. Um, or I want a fragrance that has that already mixed in with a couple other things, but I still like that. I mean, I just love those types of scents. I've contemplated getting a bottle, but I just feel like it's not different enough to, to do it. So I haven't, but that's one that I would maybe at some point. All right, next is Myth. This is, I think, one of the crowd favorites, like definitely one of the popular ones from the brand. I just don't get much. Like I don't get much from this scent. It's definitely soft. I get some maybe citruses, maybe some florals. I don't know, I just don't pick up on a lot. It says at the top, like things in here are musk. So uh, the notes are ambrit, musk mallow, bergamot, and cassis in the top. 
pink lotus jasmine and orchid in the mid musk white cedar extract and patchouli in the base definitely one of those like skin scents if you want a musky fragrance but it's more floral leaning um and fresh like that i think you would like but like a clean musk i think you would like this i tend to go for more like a woody musk an amber musk um something maybe warmer this doesn't have that warmth to me it more goes like powdery musky i could see why people like this especially if you don't want something overpowering it's probably good for like the office again every day when people hug you it just smells like you you know um that's what this kind of scent is all right next we have raven and this i used to think was so dark and so mysterious and now I don't think it's nearly as dark. It's just kind of powdery to me in a way that I don't enjoy. I, I do not like this. I think it's a very distinct thing. Um, I know I've had a couple comments being like, I love Raven. So people like it, you know, it's just, it's got to find that person that loves it. It's powdery and there's almost something, I don't know why I'm getting something kind of savory. It smells like a bookstore. <laughs> it smells like old books, kind of dusty. It's interesting. It's patchouli. I just saw the, the note and it's patchouli, but it's not like a screechy patchouli. It's not so peppery. It's not like making your nose like, oh my gosh, hurt. Um, but it's definitely in there. It's like old dried patchouli to me anyway. So the top notes on this are rhubarb, mandarin orange. I do not smell that at all, at all. I don't smell it at all. I wish I smelled some of that rhubarb or mandarin, but I don't, I don't pick that up at all. Peony, pink lotus in the mid and then patchouli, white woods and musk. Like I pick up the bottom the base notes only isn't that so interesting i wonder if on the skin it would maybe develop a little bit more that's not one i i've worn on my skin i don't really want to if i'm being honest i'm not the biggest fan of patchouli i actually enjoy it again more than i ever have i think it can be a really nice note to help enhance stuff and also for longevity it just has to be done right for me to like it um but this one's i think pretty patchouli heavy um it's not very sweet but to me i pick up yeah just something kind of dusty dried powdered maybe a little spicy I don't know. Yeah, that's what I get. <laughs> Not my personal favorite. Definitely for someone who's a little bit like, I do think a little mysterious, a little bit, I don't want to say moody, but like, I don't know. You, you got to go a little deeper with them, right? Like you need to like have multiple conversations, get to know them. Every time you do, it's a new layer to unravel. That's who wears that to me. All right, next is Reeves. This one, let's smell it. It's been a while since I've smelled some of these. Oh, Neroli and Orange Blossom. This is your Neroli Orange Blossom, for sure. That bitter, like astringent, summery bug spray. For those of you who like Neroli Orange Blossom scents, like you probably don't pick up bug spray, but for us that don't like it, that's what we get. <laughs> The coconut one is definitely better, fun. You get that milky coconut, so it makes it more beach. This is just like summer and you're trying not to get bit by mosquitoes. It's fresh for sure, but it's also floral. And I just feel like these scents, like I'm nervous I'm gonna get a headache. That's how I get with them. So anyway, this has notes of neroli and pedigree in the top, lavender and orange blossom in the mid. It had both. <laughs> Cashmere wood and white suede in the base. It's definitely clean. It's for the person who likes this. You will like this if those notes are what you like, you'll like it. If I'm gonna do something even remotely close to this, Sundays from Byredo, because it has cotton candy coming in, that sweetness coming in, you know? This doesn't have any of that. <laughs> it stays there, it's staying, just the Neroli. It's a lot for me to handle, okay? <laughs> I'm not there yet on those ones, but if you like that, you know, I feel like you're either on that train or you aren't. Um, if you are on the train, I think you might wanna try that one out. All right, next is Rose. This is a rose floral fragrance. This is nice. This is a nice rose. It's soft. I feel like it's very realistic, but it's not too powdery. Definitely has some citrus. It feels almost like more of like a youthful rose than something like too powdery. It's very springtime to me. It almost smells like designer. Like, I don't know, something that like Dior would come out with or Chloe. Something like that, like something in in that in that vein. So this has Sicilian lemon, cassis, and pear in the top. Rose petals, peony, and lotus in the mid. Musk, cashmere wood, vanilla orchid in the base. Nothing too sweet coming from this though. It definitely is just floral, but a very light, almost like floral water. You know what I mean? Like there's something kind of, not that this smells super watery necessarily, a little bit, but it's just more like diluted. You know, I think that one's nice. Again, not one that I would personally want to like really wear, but I could see why someone would like it, especially if that's like your style. Last for my little vial of samples, this one is salt. And this is definitely another one that a lot of people enjoy. And salt for me is very, 
touch and go. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It's actually not as tangy as I remember, so I pick up on the salts, but it's it's not too bad. I feel like it's kind of musky, like some florals. It's definitely one of those like skin scents or a scent that would be your signature, like you wear it every day and people just come to know you by this scent. That's how this is to me. It says for main accords, the top ones are amber, animalic, musky, powdery. I usually love those accords, um, but that's not what I smell in this. This is like fresh, almost like you got out of the shower. I don't know, man. I don't I don't pick up something super ambery. It's like all ylang ylang and tiara flower to me. Like that is more what I get like than the ambergris and the musk that's in here. I wonder if the ambergris is giving it that saltiness, you know, sometimes it can have that, but it's just not the type of amber scent that I like with what else is in here. So anyway, in the top, ylang ylang, violet leaves, in the mid, tiara flower, magnolia, and then the base notes, ambergris, musk, and sandalwood. I could see this drying down better, but I would rather have more woodsy notes in there than the, all those florals. So definitely not the one for me, but I know it's a pretty popular one from the line. Next, we're getting to one I own a bottle of. This is sci-fi. This is probably, oh, I don't know, maybe my second favorite. Maybe it's tied for second place though. This one is really Really unique I find and um, this one is a hmm it's like a citrus vanilla tea scent and I just find it so happy and uplifting I feel like the citrus is really bright in it you get that tea as well which I just really enjoy um, it's like a green tea type of scent and then there's this vanilla in the base that's really smoothing out the edges and I feel like as it dries down also that's what kind of comes out and as the citrus dies away in that opening you really pick up on that that vanilla and I just think it's fun and different. I've described this before as almost something kind of like creamsicle-esque. Like it doesn't smell exactly like a creamsicle because I feel like it's brighter than that and also has again that tea. It's something like that. It's just so good and very unique. Um, it's kind of different, but um, I really enjoy it. Sam does not like this one. Every time he's just like, it's so weird, but I love it. This has notes of bitter orange and bergamot in the top, green tea and pink freesia in the mid, and then vanilla bean and cashmere wood in the base. Definitely a great one. I obviously suggest you should try this one out because I really like it. Mm, it's so good. Definitely in my top. All right, next we're talking about sun fruit. This one I also have in a bottle. I blind bought this because it is the newest fragrance and I, I had to know. They were teasing us with notes of fig and coconut. The fact that this was gonna be a tropical summer dream, like I couldn't not, okay? And I couldn't resist. So I just bought it outright up front and said, let's do the dang thing. And unfortunately, it's not my favorite. A lot of people like this. A lot of you guys like this. So I definitely think if you're looking for a tropic, like a scent that screams tropical summer, you want something for vacation. I think this is a good one to go for if the notes sound like something you'd like. I do find the more I have it, the more I like it. I will say. I pick more up on the pear that's in here in the top, the kind of tanginess, the kind of tartness and sweetness that comes with a pear. I pick up on a lot of that in the opening. There's something kind of creamy and fruity in the mid or like, kind of in the dry down in this smell that I get, I think from that coconut and the fig, but I wouldn't be like, oh, it's coconutty or oh, it's figgy. And I think I really wanted that. It's it's okay. I think I'm letting the kind of expectations I had from this wash away. And so in that I can definitely just like, I think it's a solid, solid tropical scent. If you're looking for something, I think this is like a fun, youthful smell to it. You can make a lot of memories around this scent. I do think that it smells like in the vein of Thank You Next from Ariana Grande. There's something about it. I don't get a pickle scent though at all from this. This is more balanced to me than that scent. It's a little like smoother, maybe like better blended. Um, but the notes on this, let me read you those. This has pear, fig, bergamot, and plum tree in the top. It has orange blossom, jasmine, iris, and cyclamen in the mid, and then coconut, musk, vanilla orchid, and amber in the base. I feel like in the, in the dry down, I almost get something like slightly woody. So I don't know what that is. Maybe something about the amber, but it's very nice. It doesn't stay with you a long time. I kind of like that. Like for a scent like this, I don't really want to smell like this like all day. I want to smell like this for like the four hours. It's going to last on me. And then if I want to, I could reapply. Uh, but if not, like we can move into something sexier or deeper for dinner. You know what I mean? So um, I think if you're looking for a tropical summer scent, try that one. You got to like fruity though. You got to like fruity. Next, we have super amber. This was one I've gone back and forth on whether I want to get it or do I not. I do tend to really like amber scents. And this reminds me of something like if you like something from Moroccan 
oil, like the smell of Moroccan oil products. I feel like you might like this. Like if this plays well with your skin, it's that same thing where it's like the skin scent and it's a little bit warm and rich instead of clean. You know, I really like this on the tester strip. It's very low key, like depending, some people won't really smell it. Like Sam can't smell this. He's like, I can't smell anything. I really love this on the tester strip. Again, very understated. It's just that nice amber, but on my skin, unfortunately, <laughs> this smells like someone's gross spit on me. <laughs> it smells like someone's hot, wet mouth. Oh, doesn't that suck you guys? So this is musk, amber, Virginia cedar wood and vanilla orchid. And I'm just so sad. I'm just so, so sad because I just, I want that warm amber musk smell. This is something in line with like amber musk from Montal or even amber musk from Aaron like those types of scents. I think it's beautiful. It's one I've gone back and forth on on getting a bottle. I feel like I'm still going back and forth on, even though I know it doesn't work for me because I just, I want it to work for me so bad. But unfortunately with my chemistry, it does not mix and I smell like mouth condensation, okay? <laughs> I can't, I can't do that one. Last full size bottle. This is Sweet from Ellis Brooklyn. And this one is so nice. If you like those musky pear scents, you're gonna love this. This is so good. This is candy sweet. It smells, it like legitimately smells exactly like Swedish fish. Like everything about a Swedish fish, this is it. Where it's kind of tart and kind of sweet. And you know how the outside's like powdered but oily? You're like, what the fuck? So they don't stick together, but that's like kind of oily still. It's just everything about a Swedish fish in in the smell. It's crazy. Um, I really think this is a fun one. Um, again, it's with pear. It has that ambrette in it, you know? Very, very good. It is very similar to God is a Woman from Ariana Grande. That one's like fruitier. This one's softer. Um, it's not as tangy. I feel like the pear is really strong in, in God is a Woman. If you like Radiant Nectar, it's kind of similar to that as well. I think this goes more like sweet, kind of powdery and candy, but again, um, very well rounded. I don't feel like as much as this is fun, it doesn't feel cheap. I guess to me. So anyway, this has pear and bread or musk mallow and bergamot in the top, orris, violet, heliotrope in the mid, marshmallow, white amber, and cashmere in the base. It's really beautiful. I feel like it's one of those kind of fruity sweet scents that you can wear and still feel like clean in. It doesn't feel like overpowering. I don't feel like this would become cloying even in hotter weather. It could almost be like an everyday, very sweet kind of gourmandy type scent. It's really good. I like this one. Obviously I have a bottle of it. I think that it's really fun and sweet naturally. Okay, last we're talking about West. I have one of the travel sprays of this. This one is a citrus forward scent. It's blood orange, I know that, but you can smell definitely that citrus. But then I get something like Neroli as well. Just very bitter. There's something kind of bitter going on. It's a very fresh citrus. There's not a lot of sweetness at all. It's kind of spicy to your, to your nose even. Like it wakes you up, you know? This is like that green juice in the morning <laughs> that is like, woo, get the day started. Take that shot, let's go. Kind of, I don't know. I get kind of something maybe musky as well. Definitely for the right person. This is not my type of scent, but if you watch my Mother's Day video, um, I talked about how this was a good perfume for my mom because I feel like she would like this. So I think I'm gonna have her smell it when she's here and see if I was right, <laughs> if she actually likes that. So this has notes of blood orange, basil, clementine, and lemon in the top. Tons of citrus. There's pear blossom, ginger, and water lily in the mid, and then oak moss, vetiver, and amber in the base. Definitely getting the um, ginger, I feel like, is like something kind of spicy. There's no neroli, so I don't know. It must be something with like the aromatics of the basil and the ginger that give me that like like bitter neroli scent. That fresh citrus opening definitely dies down, but it's a good one if you like something kind of clean and not sweet. And that's everything from the house. So as you guys know, the ones I have bottles of are my favorites. I highly suggest checking out a prey. This one's probably more appropriate for colder months, but mm, it's so good. I, I just like, I genuinely just love this one. And then I do, I think sci-fi might be my next. I mean, I like sweet, but if I had to suggest, I do think sci-fi would be my second fave. I just think it's unique and interesting and I like the play of the citrus with the vanilla. It makes vanilla, which can be like really heavy, 
really light and playful and great for summer and spring. So those are all my thoughts. You can pick up Ellis Brooklyn on Sephora. It's carried at Ulta now as well. It's at a ton of places. I think that it's at Credo Beauty. It's at Blue Mercury. Um, it's at a lot of places. Like it's at quite a few places. Um, and also I wanted to say, I've also seen it though at um, like discounter stores. I saw some at TJ Maxx if you wanna get a deal. I feel like these older bottles where it's clear, this is like the older stuff. So like West, Sci-Fi, I don't know Reeves Rose like those ones are all in clear bottles um, and I feel like they're transitioning to these so I don't know if they're gonna eventually get rid of these or not or they're just gonna repackage them I don't know I don't know but it's definitely a house to keep my eye out for I can't wait to see what the next launch is gonna be and I fingers crossed I like it um, and I guess price point wise these are like hundred and five dollars so I like to try to find them on a deal like at least 20% off. They do different sales on their website. I know for Mother's Day, they were doing like 20 or 25% off. So they definitely do do sales. And I feel like you can find them discounted or somehow like getting little things here and there. Um, and uh, now that I've seen them at TJ Maxx, and I think I've seen them on like the FabFitFun sites and stuff. I think that's how I got the travel sprays of West and ISO Gamma Super. Um, I'm definitely gonna be looking out for deals. I feel like that's always my indicator that I'm like, Okay, maybe not the newest ones will be there, but maybe some of the older ones. So. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what your favorite scent from Ellis Brooklyn is. Have you tried the house? What do you like? I feel like there's a lot to love if you like softer, like musky, floral, even neroli scents. Um, I feel like there's a lot in here to enjoy. So let me know what your favorite is or what you wanna try out down below. I hope this video was helpful if you were interested in the house, but um, I think it's a fun sampler to try if at least you know half of these seem like something you might enjoy. Maybe picking up one of the, I think they call them like discovery libraries would be fun. So that is it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.